Hey, Heartbreakers. Welcome to Hardcore at Home. Elisa here, and I'm here with Lindsay. She, me and her work together at a studio here in Miami. And so I'm lucky enough to have her be my model today. And so in today's class, we're going to be doing back lunge. We're going to be doing some, some sumo squats. So it's going to be so much fun. You're really going to be torching torching calories, torching, torching your muscles, torching just pretty much everything, okay? And so for class today, you're gonna need your high bars attached to the back platform. You're gonna need a pole to help you stabilize and also bring an amazing attitude. All right, Heartbreaker, let's get started. All right, Heartbreakers, first exercise is gonna be reverse catfish. So make sure you are on one white spring and that you're in the back of the machine. And here, Lindsay has her hands on the high bars, Toes under the strap of the carriage, back is in tabletop. Make sure your knees are bent, heartbreaker. Tabletop back and start to slowly extend your legs out towards the front platform. So slowly and with control. Beautiful, big inhale through your nose. Extend your legs out and exhale, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. Pull your belly button up to the spine. Yes, and once your knees are under your hips, stop and then send the carriage right back out. So Heartbreaker, you wanna make sure that your palms are actively pressing away from the high bars so that you can activate your lats, you can activate your triceps, your rotator cuffs. And a big thing here you wanna think about as well is not dropping your hips. So when your hips drop, there's nothing wrong with that. You just get less core engagement. So make sure that you have a tabletop back like the insanely strong Lindsay right here, okay? And knees are bent the whole time. A lot of times when I teach this move, I see uh, students will straighten the, their legs and you don't wanna straighten your legs, all right? You're gonna lose the engagement in your lower abs. So bend the knees, keep your feet, your heels high, okay? So let's keep it going here. We're warming up the core. We're warming up the muscles in the back of your upper body as well. Make sure your facial muscles are relaxed. Make sure your upper traps are relaxed as well. Lindsay, how are you feeling? Great. Yes, I love that enthusiasm. I hope you are feeling as invigorated as Lindsay is right now, all right? So you have 15 seconds heartbreaker, and so we hold it, and we're gonna take it to some tiny crunches, all right? Lindsay is looking beautiful. So yes, big inhale. Exhale, squeeze your abs hard as you can, all right? We're gonna have the knees under the hips in three, two, one, heartbreaker, hold the knees under the hips, hold it right here, and tiny crunches. So two inches out, two inches in, two inches out, two inches in. Yes, Lindsay, there we go. Inhale out, exhale in. Upper body super stable. Really finding that burn in your lower abs, warming up the core for the rest of this class, heartbreaker. Let's do it. 10 more seconds left. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. That is right. And we're gonna take it into a plank hold in five. Drop it down to your forearms on the platform in three, two, and one. So now we're gonna transition into a plank hold here. So forearms on the platform, toes on the carriage. There we go, Lindsay, nice. So hold the plank right here. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, squeeze your abs. Pull your belly button up to your spine, yes. And we're gonna take it to plank to pike. Three, two, one. Hips up, beautiful, long, neutral spine. Yes, Lindsay, I love it. So make sure that your tailbone is nice and long. Sometimes when I teach this move, I'll see students will tuck their tailbone. You don't wanna tuck here, okay? You wanna lengthen the tailbone. So long spine up, yes, and right back down. So you're piking up your hips. Yes, looking at your knees. And it's like you're literally just folding your body in half, all right, Heartbreaker? We've got 30 seconds left to go here. Keep your feet flexed. You're also getting a nice stretch in your hamstrings here. Yes, and to modify, you can always drop down to your knees and do the same exact movement on your knees. Just make sure when you go on your knees, you're not gonna move fast, okay? You're still honoring that slow four count to access your slow twitch muscle fibers. All right, we got 10 seconds, Lindsay. Heartbreaker, 10 more seconds. We got nine, eight, seven, keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and take a break for a second. All right, Heartbreaker, so next up is gonna be our Cobra. So bring your hands at the edge of the squishy part of your back platform, knees on the carriage. I want you to be in a kneeling push-up position. And all we're gonna do now is start to hinge from your shoulders, start to slowly drop your elbows towards your back platform. And when you're an inch above the back platform, that's when you use the power of your hips, your lower abs, and your glutes to bring you right back up onto your palms, right? A big thing here you wanna think about as well is not sticking out your elbows. This is so easy, everyone does it, because why? It's easier, yeah? So you wanna pull your elbows in 
to make sure your lats are staying activated in this entire exercise. So don't forget, Cobra is as much an upper body exercise as it is a core exercise. Yes, Lindsay, beautiful. So sit, bring it down, bring it down. Yes, touching my palm right here. Good, and, and coming right back up. Yes, and make sure, Heartbreaker, that you're not dumping in your ribs, right? You wanna pull your ribs up to your kidneys to get that full activation in your core. Yes, inhale down and exhale. I want you to really squeeze your belly button into your spine and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles as you rise to the top. So you're inhaling, give your body the oxygen it needs and exhale, squeezing your abs in. Heartbreaker in a couple seconds, we're gonna take it into our bear. So we got that bear coming up in five, hands at the side of your platform in four bear, three, two, and one. So Lindsay's now putting the hands at the side of the platform. Her back's gonna be in tabletop and she's extending her legs out. Yes, and make sure as well that your shoulders stay right on top of your wrist the entire time. Back is in tabletop. And listen, if this is too much, you can always modify. And the way you modify is you just drop your knees on the carriage and just do the same thing with your knees dropped on the carriage and sending the carriage out and in, all right? So inhale, send it out. Exhale, squeezing your abs up to your spine, all right? Think about it, gravity's trying to pull your abs down right now. I want you to pull your abs up. Yes, Lindsay, beautiful. 30 seconds, left heartbreaker, okay? Slowly resisting out. Lindsay, you're killing it. Heartbreaker again, if you need to take a break, it's all good, okay? Slowly out, so feeling the entire back of your body working, lats, triceps, rotator cuffs. We've got our final 10, nine, Eight, keep going, Heartbreaker, you can do it. We got three, two, one, and let's take a break for a second. Before we get started in the first lunge of the day, I want you to get into a plank hold to really finish off the core warm up for today's class. So bring your forearms or your palms on the platform and get into a plank hold modification. You're on the knees, or if you want, you can be on the toes, it is up to you. So 30 seconds on the clock here, you're pressing your forearms away, and I really want you to breathe. Big inhale through your nose, Ribs expanding, big, powerful exhale out through your mouth, squeezing your abs in. So listen, anytime you exhale, you gotta squeeze your abs to get that maximum amount of core engagement. So the way your abs also feel right now, Heartbreaker, I want you to feel the same exact way when we get in back lunge in about 10 seconds. All right, so let's have one more good big inhale through your nose. Big exhale, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, squeeze belly button and spine, and we got that back lunge in three, left side, two, and one. So heartbreaker, stand up. I want you to bring your left foot in front of the back platform, and then bring your right toe in the carriage strap, and then you can use a wall or a pole. I also want you to make sure that your feet are hip distance apart, hips are squared off. I want all of your weight in that left heel. And let's start to lunge. So bend your left knee, extend your right leg out, just like Lindsay here. You're coming down to 90, pausing at 90. Then your left heel smashing your floor, driving through your hips, feeling your lower abs, also pulling that carriage in, okay? So let's keep it going, heartbreaker. So big inhale, hips go back. So you're leading with your tailbone back and then smash with your left heel. Smash, smash, smash. I really want you to feel all your core muscles pulling in this negative tension, all right? So you're feeling your left calf, you're feeling your left hamstring, you're feeling your left booty. You're also getting a stretch, <laughs> yeah. You're also getting a stretch in your right hip flexor. Make sure as well that your shoulder blades are squeezing together, right? It's so easy in this move to kind of want to hunch forward because it's easier, right? But I really want you to be diligent about bringing your shoulders, bl shoulder blades together, okay? And look straight ahead as well. So sit it back, beautiful Lindsay. So I'm holding Lindsay's hips. There we go. So she can get even more core engagement. Yes, Lindsay. And then resisting up. So I want you to really resist up. Res imagine, imagine you're in a room filled with honey, okay? And honey is stopping you from coming down. And then honey is stopping you from coming right back up, okay? So you wanna really resist up and you wanna resist right back down. That is what's gonna really help you tear up your muscle fibers, okay? And your glutes and your hamstrings, okay? So inhale back, exhale, squeeze. So every time you come up, I want you to exhale and squeeze your abs in. You have under 30 seconds left, heartbreaker, okay? Set it back, set it back and smash. So whatever's upset you this week, or, or I want you to pretend it's underneath your left heel and you're smashing it, smashing it to oblivion, all right, using the power of your own body. 
We have just 10 seconds left here until we take it into our highest angle hold, the standing lunge and hold. That's in five. You're gonna meet me at your highest angle in three, 